Let's see if I can pick it up on the phone. It says it's live. Yep. <laughs> the words I typed earlier <laughs> that I thought what was did hello you friend type? says hello, hello friend. friend. Oh no! <laughs> uh, hello, fiends <laughs> <laughs> and friends. <laughs> oh well. Whoops. Yeah, there's Andrea and Peggy and Sybil. Hi. So it looks like people are arriving. Yep, for sure. The fiends are arriving. <laughs> Sometimes these things oh, happen. Man. I think I'm going to slip on a sweater. It's a little cool in the basement this morning. Hmm. I'm sweaty. Like, how are you guys doing? You weathering this season? Simple Cindy, Peggy. They might be. They haven't answered yet. Yeah. <laughs> Try and get my camera adjusted a little better. I've got this. Which way am I going to? I was thinking about doing a vertical painting. This is a, a canvas. One of those ones that I need to fix the canvas on, looks like. Um, I also grabbed a smaller one. These are those uh, creative mark ones. I picked up a bunch of these when I was at art. Uh, In case uh, the, you guys didn't know what we're doing today, <laughs> we're just working on uh, Christmas gifts or Hanukkah gifts or Kwanzaa gifts or birthday gifts if you're, if your birthday's in December. <laughs> But um, what I'm working on is a, a changeable calendar. I just thought of a few little things that could be, you know, small gifts for somebody. Of course, this is going to take me a minute. But if you wanted to give someone a calendar, but you didn't, you couldn't find any of the ones that, that made you happy um, out of the myriad out there of 2022 calendars. I'm just making like a little desk one, and all I'm using is this um, four by six frame. Oh, I guess I should turn my other. Ca my camera's freaking out up there. Um, it's uh -oh. it's like a slide in thing, right? So it came with this slid into it. It's for a picture made out of acrylic, and it sits like that. It just sits up. And I'm just going to make a page for each month. So I went to printfreecalendars.com and I printed out all the calendar pages for 2022. And then I cut four by six pieces of <clears throat> mixed media paper. And I'm just going to build scrap collages, basically. Um, this is my first one that I started. And I'm just using some glue stick and scraps. You know, I've always got lots of scraps of stuff everywhere, constantly, without fail. So I'm just going to use that, build some collages, put on the little uh, calendar page, and then I'll just give the person the whole pack of them, all 12 of them, with the frame, and they can slide them in. So if you know somebody who sits at a desk all day and needs a little desk calendar that's all your art, original art from you, um, you might consider this as something you might want to make. That's a great idea. Good make. Really inexpensive, too, because you're just using all the junk from your desk and these inexpensive little frames. <laughs> they come in different yeah. sizes. I had a 3 by 5 a 4 by 6 and a 5 by 7 one in my drawer. You can do whatever, sorry, <clears throat> whatever type of technique you want to do, too. You don't have to make it clogged. It's just what I like to do, so that's why I'm doing it. Because I just like it. Let's 
So I'm going to bore everybody to tears right off. I just put some weathered wood down. Uh, this is a crackle medium from uh, Deco Art. I wanted to get, I don't know, I just wanted to use some crackle this morning. So I'm drying that down. And I realized I probably should have, man, I'm so silly. I should have put a coat of paint down first. So that's kind of a waste right there. All right. Starting over. <laughs> I've had a long night, guys. Sorry. And my brain is not functioning yet. So I'm just going to wipe that back. Got a rag here. Should put some paint down first. So I'm going to do that now. Seems like a good plan. So when I was thinking about January, I was thinking about cool colors, like blues and teals and uh, colors like that, a few neutrals. And then I thought to myself, well, the opposite of that or the coordinating color to that would be um, like if you're thinking of blue green, then red orange would be. The complementary color so that's the kind of colors i picked out out of my scraps for this first one and then when i get to february i'll think oh well maybe pinks because valentine's day or something like that and then march i might think about green you know like that so that's kind of how i'm picking what i'm doing here and i might get out some paints and uh, add some paint colors to my collage as well we'll just have to see what happens no one knows until it happens. But right now, I'm just doing something real abstract. Let me get a different piece of paper. Oh, darn it. I just want to get something else to glue on. And I'll get glue all over everything. I'm just, I've already got a just complete disaster on my desk, and I haven't even started. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> So let's glue these little, um, I had this piece that had these little punches out of it and it made kind of an interesting shape, I thought. So, and it looked like it was sprayed with some, some uh, teal mica spray. I don't even know where it came from. It looks like it's a book page. So I put that down and then I put, I put down some translucent paper over the top that had some mag, uh, not magazine, but uh, music printed on top of it and now I'm just putting the little dots inside where those little windows are they kind of remind me of windows uh, this one is a, a stenciled magazine might get out some stencils too and maybe do some stenciling I don't know welcome uh, Cindy and Laura and Jane and Jenny welcome welcome like I said, we're doing just little gifty type ideas today. I also have this big canvas I'm working on uh, for a friend that I had started but not finished, but I thought it really wouldn't fit onto the screen. So I decided not to work on that today, but that's something I'm working on. I also have other little things here. I have, I have you know, stocking stuffer type stuff like these. You remember, um, back in the day when we all got professional pictures of our kids done and they would have things like this where you could put a photo in and um, snap it together and then you'd have a keychain or something to put on your luggage. I thought that would be fun to just make some little art on a small something and then snap that together for either a luggage chain or a keychain. That was an idea I had. Um, I have this little uh, um, plain clipboard, and I thought it would be fun to cover that with collage and then clip something to it, make a matching pencil, and maybe put some magnets on the back, and this could be something someone can hang up to write their grocery list. You know, just little things that you can add something, something to with your art and make these little gifties 
for yep. very little money and very, you know, just a, some, some investment of time is really what it is, is time. Right. And, you know, the gift of love, the gift of creation is so much more important than what you spent on a gift. Right. So, I saw something, something that somebody had posted on Facebook just the other day about that. It's like, you know, just because somebody gives you something handmade. Yeah, they put their time in it. I, yeah. I much appreciate that. I yeah. think that's one of the best gifts that you can give somebody. Yeah. And I've, I've, I lived in a family of makers my whole life, but the other side of the family were more wealthy people. And I don't mean to disparage wealthy people because they're awesome too, but they would look down on the stuff that we gave them, you know? So I really, that I really feel that in my heart. <laughs> Sometimes they were like, you know, Oh, you made it type thing rather than, Oh, look at that. Look at something. So, so yeah, just personal experience. Don't, don't do that to people. It's not nice. Yeah. And my kids, my kids probably have gotten to the point of saturation with, Oh, mom sent me another painting. Yay. <laughs> but um, they always seem very appreciative and I'm very happy that they're that way because, um, uh, yeah, I paint and I do it from the heart and it's a gift from my heart to theirs. And I don't care if they hang it on their garage wall. <laughs> <laughs> they know I love them and that I did it with them in mind. So. Yeah, I have, I have one kid, my middle kid, who just, that's all he wants is like art that I made. And then, then, you know, he'll ask me, he'll ask me here, he'll, I'll tell him that I sold something, you know, because I get pretty excited when I sell something. So that means somebody sees value in something that I did. Right. And so he's the one I will tell. And then he's like, well, how much did you sell it for? And I'll tell him the price. And he's like, oh, should have yeah. been way more than that. Well, wow, that's good. He values your work. He really does. And he, he always has, you know, and his, his walls in his apartment are covered with stuff that I've made for him because so he I guess likes the it. crackle's going to kind of work, even though I wiped it off and you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I wanted was kind of a rustic worn looking background and I'm getting that. And I know these are bright colors, but I thought for the season, I needed to use something in the green family, right? So I've got this lime green from uh, Dina Wakely. And I thought that would be a good color to use, but I don't know if you guys can see it. But there is, there is some distress stuff going on there. And the same thing in here, there is some is some crackle stuff going on there are you starting grunge early sounds like you're starting grunge early <laughs> i'm starting what grunge early grunge no you know, January's I, grunge. No, no i you know i always have like crackle yes i know <laughs> i'm just teasing i'm a crackle person i like it Okay, so what she's talking about, we'll just <laughs> let a little cat out of the bag, is we've been working on the stuff for next year, and I am so excited about what we've got planned. Um, we have put a whole bunch of really fun stuff together for you guys, mm -hmm. and I think you're going to like the new format and what we're doing, so uh, stick around. <laughs> yeah.
quite sure how long I'm going to be here. Alright, January is going to be right there. Welcome, Debbie and Minka. More people are rolling in. I'm glad to see you. Glad to see you. I was thinking I needed a little bit of paint. So what paint should I get? I think we'll get some watercolor. Oh, no, no, I know. I'll get my gel sticks, and then I just have all the colors in the entire world. That's what I'll do. Okay, it's not all the colors in the entire world, but you know what I'm saying. It's yeah. Lots of colors. <laughs> I do. I do know lots what you're of colors. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Lots of colors. Give me more colors. I'm trying to move some of the stuff out of the way. I'm making such Hi, a mess. Hi, Dinner time. Hmm. I hope you're having something good. Hi, Debbie. What have I got? I wanted like some type of a yellowy gold color. I think. I need that or that. I think this one's a better choice. Um, this one, that's a nice one. So I just put down, that was, okay, the background was a lime. I'm just putting down a little bit of lapis and ocean. You know, we need a landing pad down here. She's got the Dina collars all over the face. Go Dina colors. Well, I've been I've been rearranging again. And those were the closest ones to my desk, and I didn't have time this morning to get much out. So I just <laughs> went with what was handiest. You know how you do. You go with what's handy. That's what I do too. Yep. So then I will just get, I have some new things to play with. I have these new, I haven't even taken these ones out of the box yet. Giant, humongous Posca pins. And I said to myself, I want giant Posca pins. I love them. And They're then some my of my faves. Said, well, let's get some of those. <laughs> yeah. And so we did. Because they make dots. <laughs> They do. They make wonderful dots. And you know, I love my circles and my dots and my stuff. Oh, definitely. Dots are awesome. Circles, dots, all those things. Okay, so I got to. I also said to myself, you probably only need black and white. And then myself said, ha. Ha, uh ha. -uh. Uh-uh, honey. <laughs> In all the colors. <laughs> no, I don't have all the colors, but boy, I thought about it. Well, it's not all the colors, but I got blue, green, yellow, red, pink. Yeah. And then apparently, because I got this, I ordered these, and then I got this, and I got two of the white and black. But, oh, well. Oh, yeah, don't ever want to run out of that. Well, no. You should see how many white pasta pins I go through in my I mean, I I buy them three at a time, and I am, like, obsessed, so. 
I have ton I have gone through tons of them. Because they're so awesome is why. Yeah, that's why. Splatters on there. Because splatters. I'm just adding so a little then, bit. That's like a little thing you could have on your desk. I think I might want a word. You could also have a word for each month to focus on, you know, because of course I can't reach my drawer that has the words because there's so much junk on my desk. I don't know whose fault that is. Hmm. Mine. Okay. <laughs> what I wanted was those ones with the turquoise backgrounds. Oh, there's some right here. I'm just scrubbing a little bit of that color into the background, too. Okay. So, we've got our like the base oh, on there. Better. What I was thinking was like... Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> January is hectic for me because... We've got to, you know, we've got to start all the things over. We've got to come up with new stuff. We've got to do, make new things for our channel and new things for our group. And it's just, it's kind of crazy. So I think this would be something good to put on there. All right. Just so what color do I want? Maybe I'm making this for myself. I don't know. I think I'll start with a pink. This one's magenta. 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 So then you just take this little thing and you hope that everything is dry. And you just slide that in there like that. And then that's your January calendar. Yeah. Does that make sense to everyone? It just makes sense up. to me. Stands up. So let's get started on February. Why not? Here's the I used to do a lot of calendars. I did calendars for my mom, but I did the great big ones. So they had like a 8 by 10 piece of artwork on every page. That's cool. And, well, it was it was for my mother, so it was special, you know. I wouldn't do that for everybody. <laughs> that Well, I would if I was making photocopies, you know. And you can do that. You can do an original yeah, you can calendar make and then... I actually saw people selling calendars like that uh, just recently. So, yeah. Yeah, I saw some people advertising ones that you could order, pre-order, mm -hmm. that had their art on them. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. I thought, man, idea. I should have done that. Yeah. But oh, I didn't, so. What other color do I want to use here? Let me dry that. I sure have a lot of blue in my scraps. Why is that? I don't know. 
I don't know. Oh, that's cool. That's a piece of Duralar. You could put Duralar on it. I want something bright, but I think the cherry pie is just a little too. Hmm. Let's go with. That's a sticker. Let's go with this. Uh, pure sunshine. Yeah. So I want to lighten that pink a bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of gesso. Just get a little bit of that out. Now, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't mix with your brush, but I'm mixing with my brush. Do as I say, not as I do. And I need a small something I want to apply that with. So let me think, what do I have here? Oh, yeah, I've got these, I've got these little sponge dauber things. Marie says she loves it, Shell. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marie. Hey, Thank Jamie. You. Hi. Hey, PG Jamie. So, okay. So I want to I want to add some I think just some polka dots to this little creature. I don't think I mixed enough paint, of course, but we'll make it do. Just, you know, a little hint of something here. Can I see that? Got a little pokey dot. And dump that in the water. And then I'm going to get some of this, um, what did I say it was? Pure sunshine. I'm going to move this Pure over. So I'm doing here. Pure sunshine. Oh, yeah, that's bright. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> that should be kind of a standout color, huh? Pure sunshine, you betcha. Clean out one of these brushes. Uh -oh. <coughs> stupid cough. And let's get tired of your stupid cough. Let's start this one. That's a little more translucent. I might have to do more than one coat on that one. Just so you know, the Diane Reevely paint is a little more translucent than the Dina Wakely. Well, Dina Wakely does call hers heavy body paint. Which I like. Yeah. Because I don't too. have to worry about the opacity. I'm fond of heavy body paint. So once again, I'm going to mix a little uh, gesso into that. Tissue paper. I I had Just a, never know what you're going to find. I you? thought I had a palette knife out here. You get out I didn't take it out. I guess I'll have to use this.
Okay. And I think for this one, let me dry it down just a little bit. Let's see what I have over here. Oh, that might be kind of cool. Okay. Need the I'm not going to all this junk everywhere. Thank you, Jamie. Ingrid. Okay, so that's probably dry enough. I can put another layer over, and I'm going to grab. I think I'm going to grab some stencils. I want. I still want to stick with the polka dot theme, but I think I want different dots on this one. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to get a tool here we go got a sponge here work that into my sponge a little bit so I have a few new stencils they accidentally yeah. fell into my cart mine too I don't know how that happens. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> there was this sale, you know. Yeah. There was. I don't have a lot, but I have, do have a few new ones. Okay. While I've got that paint there, this other one we were working on, I'm going to put some of that. I'm not going to let that paint go to waste. I'm going to put some of that into the background on this other canvas. Because I can. Because you can. Hard to see. It's a light color. I'm just going to add a little bit around the edge. You know, keep using the same colors that I have. Like that. I think I'll actually add a little bit of that down here to blue is mighty bright for just a landing place, and I don't really want that to stand out so much. I want my characters to stand out more. So that's what I'll do with that. wrap this up in a cloth because I don't know if I'm going to need that again. And I've still got paint left, so I've got a book here. Oh, pardon me. I'm just going to put some of that in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wash that off. This is... Remember back in the day when, you know, we looked up all the video information and these guides? Yeah, this is one of those guides. And I thought, you know, I need to just use that in my art because you look all that stuff up online now. Oh, and there's an old receipt. Interesting. All right. 
So, now I'm going to clean that off a little bit. I've got something stuck underneath here. It's driving me nuts. Oh, a little goober. Goober of uh, adhesive. That's a technical term. Yeah, definitely a technical term. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to this one. Um, I'm going to need some white. I got gesso out here. I might as well just use the gesso. And I People need seem to think you're going out of focus. Do you have your autofocus on? No, but no. it does its own thing. Actually, Someone I just saw yours you go out of focus, Ingrid too. said you were out of focus. I don't know. I'm not paying attention, so. I'm just doing, yeah. Um, I want a smaller brush. So I'm going to get a different. Yeah, you think you're fixing something, and so you go and adjust some setting on your computer, and then all of a sudden... No, I checked them this morning, but, you know, we're using other people's software. Yeah. And it's a whole bunch of stuff working together. We do the best we can for a live, but, you know, part of it is it's a live show. Um, they do not always uh, do what you think they're going to do. <laughs> do they ever do what you think they're going to do? <laughs> ever? <laughs> And I, I'll tell you, I, I may not get through this painting because I'm starting to get an ocular migraine and my eyes are going, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh. Let's see, what do I got? So for me to be looking at a screen and comments and painting, it's quite a bit because I got one eye shut. Huh. <laughs> 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 Okay. You guys ever get that? It's kind of like lightning in your eyeball. Let me tell you. I do. Or I used to. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten one in a long, long time. Not what you want to experience. No. Okay. And I'm going to. Figure out where I'm going to put some more paint. And I think I'm going to go to something even brighter yet. Which is, what is this one? Oh boy, this is fluorescent. This is Mango Punch. Get a little, little gesso out for that. And add a little mango punch. Woo! She'd be bright. I'm not sure I have the color mango punch, but I bet I would like it.
just wonder how many months I can get through. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Here's my word for February. Seems appropriate. And there you have your February calendar. All right. You're rocking and rolling it. Mm, that's only two. There's ten more to go. <laughs> Let's see. March. Let's put some of this stuff back in the container. Lots of things going on here. There's April. March, March. I kind of want to use this little piece of Duralar. It's so peaty. It's so peaty. No, I don't. I don't think that's an appropriate color for that one. I was. I want to do an angel. One of my gifts every year is to a certain somebody is an angel so i want to do an angel but let's get let's get through this one I was looking for like a Sharpie or a, here's a jot permanent marker. That's what I was looking for. Looking through my scrippy scraps. I was thinking green. green. Yeah, I'm thinking for the angel, I should pro I should probably use some text for the wings. I thought that would be a nice thing. And I've got, I've actually got an old German Bible that's fallen apart that I can take some pages and use for the wings, which I think would be kind of fun. Let's see. Oops, made that kind of blobby. Oh, that's my shoes under there. I'm like, what the heck is under my desk? At first, it might be a doggy, but it wasn't. It's just my shoes.
All right, I had a little teeny tiny brush. What did I do with it? Oh, man, I'm losing things right and left this morning. I promise I didn't take it. I just won't use it. If I can't find it, it just isn't going to get used. Yeah, I'm doing some crazy birds. Absolutely. You know me. I like my birdies. I thought you were doing an angel. <laughs> well, that's on the other. I got two canvases going here. Oh, you got two. Okay, I'm like, I'm confused. When did the angel turn into a bird? I don't know. Well, I, ha I have more than one person I have to give something to. So I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to work smarter. I was doing I was doing two backgrounds at once, you know. So hopefully yeah, it's smart. It's smarter to um do two things at once, set one aside, let it dry. That makes sense to me. fingers. Can't imagine how that could happen. <clears throat> you silly thing. Stop being stupid. Hey, are you muted? Or are you just being quiet? I'm writing letters. I'm trying not to misspell things. Oh, okay. Good plan. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we do that. It's tongue in cheek and go for it. <laughs> There. So it says best friends. And they look like buddies, don't they? A little blob of paint up here I'm not happy with. I'll try to take some of that back. I'm going to have to let that dry before I finish that. But, um, yeah, that's a quick, easy little best buddy kind of thing and that they can hang that on their wall or over their desk at work or whatever and remind 
themselves of the good times you guys have had together, right? Definitely. So that's one. Let that dry and so I can come back to it. Now this one, I was looking at papers this morning. Remember I said something about using the Bible paper. I've got, a, I've got a really nice background started. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's got the, it's got the crackle and it's got the dots and, you know, so I'm, I'm liking the background. And this is what I've got for paper. No, if I'm enamored of this, the print is pretty big. Maybe the bottom part here. I've also got this other, this one's cool. Somebody's actually written in the margin here. I think they were translating some of this into English because it's got it's got some English words written in the margin. Huh. Is it, what's the original language? I think it's German. German? Yeah. I've got my mother's old French uh, book when she was taking French. But it's up in the cupboard someplace. So I don't know. I'm um, trying to figure out what color I want to do. Oh, this is a good color here. Let me get. Get a piece of this. paper and a pair of scissors. Actually, I like that torn edge. Maybe I'll just tear it. Oops, going the wrong way here. the way I wanted it to. I think she needs to be a little bit taller. And moving stuff around. I lost track of my paper cutter. <laughs> I mean, this is so bad. How do you lose a paper cutter? It gets buried in the papers. It's a good thing I have multiples, huh? just do let's try this one
I guess that print isn't so big. I can't use it. But if you're gonna if you're gonna have a Bible fall apart, you might as well put a hidden meaning in your artwork, right? Definitely. Okay, and now we'll do this side. Green. There's one missing. And I think, do I have enough of that margin? talking about I haven't even looked up <laughs> maybe just a little more trim out product I'm reaching for. Don't need watercolor ground. I don't need self-leveling gel. Come on. <laughs> but they need you. I'm going to do a little heavy gel. Because this paper is a little bit heavier. You guys putting up trees? Oh, cool. Yeah. I don't put up a tree anymore. I decorate outside a little bit um, just so that the neighbors going by can see something. Uh, yeah, I just don't, I just don't do a lot. We usually don't have any celebration here anymore since the kids are all grown and gone. So, um, there's no point. We put our tree up. Um, 
last weekend, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, we, we usually do a ton of outside lights. But uh, the person who does the majority of the work is not feeling well. <clears throat> so it hasn't happened. And I'm okay with that. It's a lot of work. Yeah. If you have to put it all up, then you have to take it all down. So right. Ugh. And that's my point. Um, it's just the two of us. So for the kids walking to school and for the neighbors and stuff, I put some stuff outside. I put some snowmen and a few things like that. But um, for us, yeah, we just don't do that anymore. Should have just used a glue stick for that, but I had this out, so you know. Uh, like I said, brain is not engaged very much today. too oh well it's green but it's not the kind of green you might think i have a feeling this stuff has been sitting too long it's getting really goopy i'd hold well <laughs> i need to do a real big mixed media project and use it all up some assemblage bird coming. Oh, I think that's dry enough now. I think it's dry enough. Oh, wrong pen. It helps if you grab the oh, right pen. I need a word. I need a word. You guys seen these uh brush posca pens they're pretty cool it's got a it's got a pump here on the back to pump the paint down are you talking about the posca brush pins yep yeah i love those I just got them not that long ago i want to Make the white of his eyes a little bit whiter. So there's March. So I've got January, February, March so far. Let's start on April. April showers brings May flowers. So April might be... What might I do for April? What color should I make it? Maybe Umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was like maybe a fun, <clears throat> something with a fun red umbrella or something, or yellow um, umbrella. Boots, rain boots or. Yeah. 
just trying to decide what my background color would be. I really want to play with this piece of Duralar. That actually looks pretty splashy and wet. I'm going to want to put a coat of varnish on that, but I'll wait. Uh, I have these. I never glued Duralar down with a glue stick, but we'll find out. If it works. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Yeah, Peggy bluish gray seems to make sense, but I wanted to play with this, so it's got that watery blue on it, and then I might put this one on the other side. <coughs> and just blend it in there and just fill up the whole background with that color. Seem to make sense. This is tissue paper. But it's got a bunch of splattery situation going on. Which is kind of cool. I think this Duralar has alcohol ink on it. That's what my guess is. If you don't really remember. And I'm pretty sure this tissue paper has sprays on it. Or no, I know what it is. It's brusho. Like a brusho or can Ken Oliver or whatever. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I don't know. They're scraps just in my scrap box. Who knows what they are? They could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they came from. They just appear. Boy, that is really a dirty paint pen. What do you think I was dipping that in? No, I don't want you to come up. Did I say come up? No, I did not say come up. Ha! Huh. Stay down. pretty and it just kind of seems like it should have let's see if I can find anything that is what I'm thinking of hmm. that your stencil might work Might be kind of cool. Oh, how about uh, get acrylic paint all over everything by letting your Posca pen roll through your wet acrylic paint and get acrylic paint all over it. That's a good plan. Uh, what do I want? White, I think. Or no, I want. Um, something more subtle than that. How about, how about silver? Silver. Silver will do. Silver paint. Okay, so I think I think the birdies are pretty much ready to roll. Let's get back to our 
angel. Did I put it away? No, I just threw it over there. Okay, that's good. I think I want to cut a heart. Since this is a work of heart, you need a heart, right? So our oh, angel no, needs no. a heart. Let me glue that down. So, a bit interesting. Now let's just put you out of the way so that you don't get a bunch of acrylic paint all over everything. Are you okay, Bobby? You okay? I've got a blue um, Stabilo. I'm just going to use that. Oh, this thing is still wet. Oh, dear. is gummed up. Everything's a mess today, I tell you. I just took the pin out of it, so it should be flowing. Edge was not sealing. Get the other edge too. While we're at it. Put a sealer coat over all that paper so it doesn't just suck everything right up. So I've got some decoupage glue here. Try and get the paint out of that one. Where all my glue brushes have gone to. That's what you get for cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just gonna I'm gonna seal that in. Gonna want to seal it anyway, so. And this is not that bad stuff. I can I can wash that out pretty readily. So dry that down. Thanks, Marilyn. Thanks, Peggy. Good 
my room is a little too little. I think I want it to be more abstract. See this. Hey Nell, I didn't say hi to you. How are you doing? getting this up here where I can read it. <laughs> All right. So now I come in with that pencil. Just go around my I think first I need to make like some angel. Oh geez, that isn't even sticking down. Come on. All this glue I put on there. <laughs> I just got to slow down. Yeah, that's not a race. Okay, so I'm going to take my water brush. Here it is. Blend that out a little bit for shadowing. This one I might add some dimensional things. I was thinking, you know, maybe a string of pearls or I don't know. I'm just, you know, thinking out loud here as I look at this piece and think about how I want to embellish my little angel. If you genuinely want to know if you're going to outline the heart. Uh, hey, look at what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, I am. Absolutely. She knew where I was headed. I might get some, I think I've got some like tinsel or something. I could put a little halo on this. But I also want to, let's see, let's do, like that, just reflect. I need a gray, 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 gray pencil. Yeah, I need a gray one. Where's a gay one? Do you know? Do you need it? And love. 
Give him a little shadow. And I'll get my just gonna hit that, make it kind of watercolory, and then I'm gonna come back with a pen. But I, I wanted the blue, not so much just black. And that medium. You know that these things dry down permanent, so that's a good thing. abstract but you get the idea but it won't lay flat so it keeps buckling I guess because I heated up the Duralar <laughs> but once it's inside the frame it should it should lay flat kind of done. It's more simple than the other ones, but it's subtle. So they're all trying to buckle. These are on uh, mixed media paper, which to me is annoying. Okay, I will just see it. So there's January, February, March, April. So I can start on May, but I guess we're, uh, We're doing good. May flowers, obviously. So, kind of have to go with that. If Absolutely. I did April showers, I got to do May flowers. I happen to have this random flower. But I think I'm going to make it super bright. Super bright. But I don't know what. Well, that's pretty. I guess we'll start with that piece. It's kind of thick. Oh, we can maybe peel it. Yep, peel the back right off it. That piece should be in there because it's nice and bright and it has a flower on it. And um, then we'll find some other stuff here in, in the craziness. Oh, I should have put that piece on my on my other one because <laughs> it has those drops. That would have been good. Oh well, didn't look hard enough, I guess. That's bright. So, Right yellow. Yellows and oranges seem more like summer, but I guess I'm going to throw in some other colors. I 
Who knows what you will find in your basket of crazy. Some lime green. These hot colors do seem like they should be more summery. I'll just stick them back in. I don't know what I got. What did I get? I also have other baskets if I can't find what I want on this one. It's rice paper. Seems very summery though. Hmm. Maybe I could put a blue background and then start yeah. with that. That looks like little plants coming up. So that might be good. Start with that. Looks like our time is about up. Oh, it sure is, huh? Well, I want to thank you guys for having hung with us this year. Uh, it's been another long year for everybody, and my heart goes out to all those people that have had real daily struggles this year. Uh, I didn't have to get up and go to work and, you know, face the music, so... I was one of the lucky ones, but, um, yeah. So I did my little angel. I need to finish it up. It says faith, hope, and love. It's just a little six by six, but you know, it's for somebody special that I know is going to appreciate that. And then I did my, uh, best friends birdies. And I did four pages, which I already showed you. So, anyway. and they say it screams April. <laughs> April, March, and April. So, thanks for being with us, and we'll see you again soon. Have a great week, and enjoy the time with family that you have to spend. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.